YouTube. Welcome back. Maddie Rips here. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. Um, today's video, we are going to be ripping this Topps Heritage 2021 Baseball Blaster Box, as well as discussing um, Target's new uh, trading card retail policy, or their newest policy. Um, but before we get to that, just a reminder, the Lamella Ball rookie card giveaway is going on right now. Um, I will link the video in the description below, so if you're interested in entering that, and again, much support to everyone who has subscribed to this channel so far. Uh, it really means a lot to me. All right, so let's get on uh, discussing Target's new retail policy. So I will read um, what's being posted at a lot of Target's um, right now. Um, this is the signage. It says, due to high demand and to support all guests, we will be limiting the quantity of MLB, NFL, NBA, and Pokemon trading cards to one item per guest per day, effective April 30th. 2021 we apologize for any inconvenience so i think um this is a good thing going forward for the hobby you know it's gonna allow a lot more people to get their hands on uh, cards um one item like i said target's kind of iffy on their policy not all stores um have been in sync in line with these trading card policies um some places have already been doing the one item per store uh I've, as i've heard um, I've also seen three items total, the ones I've gone to, and then I've also seen three of each item. Um, so again, hopefully they're going to be in line with this one. Um, I've also heard that they're going to be not allowing guests to line up um, before 6 a.m., which I can see being more of a problem because at 6 a.m., if people are waiting in their cars, um, people are going to start rushing the store at 6 a.m., which can cause more problems. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle that. Um, going forward but I think this will be a good thing uh, in general to one item per, per or one item per guest per day um, as again I hope get rid of the scalpers the flippers uh, maybe lower bring down the prices on the secondary market which have been out of control so again I think it's a good thing for everyone um, I'll be interested to see how they implement the one item per guest per day that will be interesting I don't know if they're gonna ID or whatever. They're not going to allow people to get in line of what I've seen, but again, who knows with Target. They're very wishy-washy. Not every store is the same. So I will let you know this Friday um, when I go. I'll probably go around 5 o'clock, 5.30, just to check out if they are implementing the line, um, the rules for that. And then uh, we'll check out to see if they're going to stick with the one item per person um, or if we allow one. I can see them doing one item of MLB, one item of the NFL, one item of NBA, and one item of Pokemon as well. Um, which, you know, it's, that's not the worst thing in the world either. But um, let me know in the comments below what you think of Target's new policies. Uh, like I said, I think it's a good thing going forward. Uh, makes cards attainable for more people, which is a good thing for all. All right. So let's get to ripping. We're going to be ripping this Topps Heritage 2021 Baseball Blaster Box. Um, right here we have 72 cards in this box. Um, I believe, what's it say? It's a seven packs with one extra pack. I'm not sure if the extra packs actually, you know, you can tell it's extra pack or it's literally just eight packs in here. Um, but here, look for a limited and exclusive 1972 Venezuela stamps. Um, these cards are based and designed on the uh, 1972 Topps uh, series. So heritage of a year, they just go back in time, you know, through a design and model from previous Topps um, cards. So again, this will be 1972. Um, this is my first heritage product I've opened this year. Um, I've been saving this box. I got at Target two weeks ago, saving it for this video, saving it for the right time. And uh, today's the right time. So let's get to ripping. See, I got this with actually a good amount of product at uh, Target two weeks ago. Um, that was when they allowed three items and they allow you to get back in line Sounds like the new target policies won't allow you to get back in line, so it's gonna be interesting to see people sprinting from store to store potentially. Alright, there we go. We got one. Pack. So one of these are the, the extra pack. Who knows which really one is the extra pack. 
Nothing denotes it like the other, some of the other top sets that you can tell. Oh, crumb that falls off that. All right, here we are, pack one. Been enjoying the baseball season so far. For the most part. All right, so here we are. Here's the style, 1972 tops. See the little tops here, digit down below. Pretty clean. Um, I'm not sure if I like this. I like the 2018, 2019 little set. Um, the style was pretty nice. Back into action, Brandon Lowe. Evan White, rookie card in action. Jose Barrios, put our rookies to the side. So I got recently got Ronald Acuna and what did I get? Fernando Tatis. Um, Tops Heritage, 18, 19 of their rookie cards. Uh, those are pretty good. You see, I think I, my, one of my most recent videos, my mail day video, I think you can see those, check those out. Um, PSA 9s, again, those are 40 bucks. They've already gone up in value a lot since um, I've gotten them. Ooh, Mike Trout, Mike Trout's always a hit, right? It's kind of like the LeBron James rule, you know, NFL type stuff. Get the best player in baseball. No, God. Adam Has Hasley, I don't know who that is. Kyle Schwarber, Don Arenado. Dylan sees P. Alonzo, boyhood photos of the stars. That's a cool insert. Then we have rookie, and actually this is pitching leaders. So that's definitely old school. You got the pitching leaders, all those cards. I think they have like the rookie cards too with multiple rookies on a card. It was always fun collecting as a kid. I got like in the early 2000s tops as well. Mark Melanson. Tyler uh, Nackman, he's been doing pretty good for fantasy. Hunter Renfro, Game Suit, oh, uh, 2020 World Series, Game 4. Jackie Bradley Jr., John Lester, Jerickson Profar, Jesus Lazardo, Brandon Workman, and Pablo Lopez. Nothing too crazy so far, but again, we got this at retail. You know, I'm not paying above, above the price. Dylan Bundy, Matt Barnes, Aaron Judge, Jacob Eunice. There we go, Ron Lacuna. You know, another, you know, we, he's, he's tearing the cover off the ball this year. You know, we're, we're good with that. 2020 postseason, Korea hits a walk-off. Roberto Clemente, the great one. Max Kepler, and then Miguel Castro. Ooh, man, stuff's getting some rookies in here, huh? Maybe we've opened, what, three packs so far? Four packs, four packs, one rookie. Not as much as you're getting in the regular Top Series 21 right now. Top Series 2021. Um, Byron Buxton balling this year. Michael Taylor, Martin Perez, Christian Walker, Christian Yelich. Oh, we have our first insert. Chris Sale. Should be recovering from Tommy John surgery. And it's numbered as well. Here we go, 343.99. You can see that. Beautiful, it's a nice looking card. Put that right down. Let's see, will we get a rookie this time? We got Tim Anderson in action. And again, still one rookie, right? Unless they're not denoting rookies on the back of these. No, there should be. I haven't seen any rookies that should be. All right, well, we got Chris Hill numbered, 9.99. Hopefully he comes back. He's having a pretty solid Hall of Fame career up to the last two, three years. Two years? Alex Bregman just got a lot of his rookie cards recently. Pete Alonzo, CJ Krohn, NL RBI leaders, look at them, two of the Braves. In action, Nelson Cruz. Here we are. Looks like we got a memo, memo hit. Game used, Jesse Winker. Um, game used memorabilia. Looks like a jersey. We have just received a clubhouse collection relic card from 2021 Tops Heritage. Jesse Winkler, a, sol a solid player. A Winker. Solid player. And here we go. We got a rookie. Joey Bart right behind it. And then Bo Bichette, who's also balling out this year. Have a couple of his rookie cards. Not a bad time to get some in, get in on those. That was our memo. Probably not have an autograph or anything else like that. 
Wish he was a better player instead of Jesse Winker, but still. Tyler Chatwood. Here we go. Here's our rookie stars. Anderson Tejeda. And then Leody Tavares. Throw out in the rookie hits. Got Josh Hader. Nick Ahmed. Adam Engel. Jose Peraza. In action, Jose Altuve. In action, Mike Trout. Again, we always, you know, always like the Mike Trout. And our last pack right here. Mauricio Dubon. We have another rookie stars. We have the Mets, David Peterson and Andres Jimenez. Throw that in the rookie pile. All right, Orlando Garcia, Dustin May, Danny Mendick, Ned Roberto Clemente, the great one, Frankie Montes, Jesus Sanchez in action. So another rookie, we're getting to more rookies now. And then Colton Wong to end that. So um, again, we're, hit, we're opening retail, so can't complain. We're not paying crazy prices over the price. Granted, baseball is not too high anyway, but um, as the first time I opened this product, I enjoyed it. Always enjoy ripping anything, right? Um, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Target's new retail policy. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe as well. We're at 115 subscribers at the time of this video. Um, let's get to 200 and we'll do another giveaway. So again, check out the link in the description below for the Lamello 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, and until next time, everyone, appreciate the love and support. We will catch you next time. Peace.